I tell people over and over, four cylinder engines are great, but don't go too small. Now all the new stuff, they're going to 1.5, 1.3, some even three cylinder engines, and they can soup them up with GDI turbocharging, and they'll have a lot of horsepower and go, but they will wear out faster. This 2.4 liter engine, I would predict probably go three, four, 500,000 miles. Get that out of a four or three cylinder turbocharged car. You won't, you just won't. And in this case, great gas mileage, 38 miles a gallon on a highway, and nice speed, you don't need to turbocharge it. It's 2.4 liter proven Honda four cylinder technology. They will wear out faster. This 2.4 liter engine, I would predict probably go three, four, 500,000 miles. Get that out of a four or three cylinder turbocharged car. You won't. <sighs> Scotty Kilman, my guy, you're wrong about this one. And I'm gonna prove it to you right now. This is my 2017 Honda Civic EXT 1.5 Turbo. That's right. I bought this car brand new in August of 2017 with 15 miles on the odometer when I picked it up from the dealership. Let's see how many miles it has on it right now. I bet you guys are wondering what's this, right? <laughs> this right here is one of my favorite things that I've added to this car in the end. Here are five things I love about the Lost Fit Fast Wireless Charger for the 2016 to 2021 Honda Civic. Number one, the look. I love the dark colors with the black and gray. It matches the interior perfectly. Number two, easy to install. You got your vent clip, you got your locking piece, you got your charger itself, your cord for your charger, and of course, your suction cup. And that's adjustable. To install, lightly add your tightening mechanism, lightly. Then you attach it to your vent clip, just like this. Tighten it, let's add it to the vent. Make sure the flap right here at the bottom is down for support and nice, tighten in. Lastly, we gotta plug it up. This is how it looks when it's fully installed. Plugged in, wrapped around the steering wheel, could barely see it, free and clear of your stalks. All right, number three, fast charge. As far as how fast? Fast, but it also depends on your phone. Number four, the Iron Man Transformer style noises and grip arms for the device. Check this out. Number five, the price. Listen, after having this for a little bit of a minute, about a week, I can tell you it's well worth drum roll, please. Oh my God, 693,219 miles. That's right, 693,219 miles. And you guys are gonna wanna subscribe to the channel. Check out some of the other videos but in future videos, if you're subscribing now, I'm going to talk about all the things in this current video I didn't replace on this car. And in future videos, I am gonna talk about how much money I spent on maintenance to drive this car to 700,000 miles. And believe me, you won't believe me. Recently, I talked about a lot of the maintenance that I've done on this car. And in my most recent video, kind of a big issue, but not really a big issue that I currently have with this car in which I'm still trying to decide what I'm gonna do about. Cause see, Scotty Kilmer and many under the assumption that this car with the 1.5 turbo engine is not reliable is quantifiably incorrect. My car is proof of that as long as you're willing to put in the maintenance. So again, I'm gonna talk about right now what I didn't replace on this car in the engine and I'm also gonna talk about how much it would cost to drive this car and how long it would actually last. Okay, let's get started. Now, we all know what are the standard maintenance part on this car that needs to be changed. So out of the 700 odd miles that I've driven in this vehicle, I can tell you that I've changed the tires four times, four, uh, five times. I've changed the brakes three times. 
I probably had maybe two to 300 oil changes. Mm, that's exaggerative. That's being hyperbolic. But I've had at least 50 to 100 because I get an oil change every three weeks, three and a half weeks. And I've had this car since 2017. I guess you could do the math on that. But let's talk about the key maintenance items that I have not changed. Of course, this does not include tune-ups and valve adjustments, air filter, things like that, light bulbs. Oh, speaking of light bulbs, the bulbs are German. So, of course, as you know, they don't last long because they're German. And they're halogen, not LEDs. The light bulbs, I have to change every 110 to 120,000 miles. It never fails. The light bulbs will blow every 110, every 120,000 miles. They're about $35 to $40 a piece at the dealership. I get them because I want to know that they're going to last 120,000 miles. That's why I get them from the dealership. The turbo. I have not changed the turbo and I will show you why in a little bit later on in the video why I have not changed the turbo. A lot of people ask me is the turbo original? Yes it is. Another thing uh, that I have not changed is the clutch. Man, I know a lot of people gonna give me a lot of lack, hack, slack, or whatever for that one. This is a manual transmission, which is Scotty Kilmer. We'll, we'll agree with actually, it's probably the reason why it's been so reliable. One of the reasons, of course, why it's been so reliable to this point. A manual transmission gets better gas mileage and is more reliable than any other transmission on the market today. That's something that I can prove and verify for myself because that I've had automatics and manual transmissions to this point now the clutch is original the turbo original two big ticket items that I know people are worried about but look the reality of it is I did have one breakdown one toe in this vehicle since I've had it that one toe was because a fuel filter and that was at about 480,000 miles if I'm not mistaken so this car went over 400,000 miles and the only thing I needed was tune-up valve adjustment, brakes, tires, oil changes, and trans flush, and coolant flush. Missing maybe an air filter, of course. Think about that. That's extremely reliable, and whether people like it or not, cost effective. You can check out my recent video, my most recent video. Uh, you will know what my current issue is with this car, and because I said I haven't changed the turbo or the clutch, I'm going to knock on this vehicle right now, just in case, you know, it decides to go randomly. Hey, anybody know anybody at Honda that wants to swipe a brother out for a new Honda Civic right now? Email them, tell them, listen, this is all the publicity you need. This is the proof that your turbo, in, oil you dilution, and other things like that, that people have complained about, about these 1.5 turbos. In case you are unaware of what the oil dilution was, presumably, um, what caused it, presumably, was because people in colder climates would just jump in, start the car, and it would cause flexes within the engine components, which would cause oil dilution within the internals. Now, I don't know how 100% accurate that is, but I will tell you, every time I've gotten in to drive this car, I have let the cold start subside before I've taken off. Look at that, starts right up, no problem, smooth. Now, I will say over time, as the, as the mouse has racked up, the engine has become a lot louder. The fuel injectors and the ticking from the engine is extremely loud. And as you can see, I'm getting 45.6 miles per gallon at the moment. Okay, I mentioned about why the turbo has lasted so long and how they figured this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this turbo gauge. This is the turbo gauge right here. So we're gonna go for a little drive and I'm gonna tell you right now at the end of this video why it has lasted as long as it has. All right, All right we're on the road. I actually have a GoPro and a head, a head uh, strap or chest strap, whatever. Um, I think I'm going to be using that pretty soon because I did acquire a lot of that equipment because I got to, you know, I got to show you guys what I do for a living. I'll be bringing new content. But listen, let's continue on. So one of the reasons, or I would say the main reason why the turbo lasts so long is because as you can see, I'm shifting very early and no bars are appearing on the boost gauge. That is number one, because I am in eco mode, which pulls timing and boost up to a certain RPM. Um, as you can see, I'll floor it right now in third and floor it. 
the boost didn't kick in until I got all the way up to around 3,500 RPM. Of course, that would change if I took it out of eco mode. But when you're regularly cruising around at town speeds, you're not hitting hard accelerations, you are not using the turbo. All right, we're on the road, we're driving, I got the boost gauge, and I just wanna show you guys, look at that, one bar, barely one bar of boost on this gauge. That is why the turbo lasts so long, because when you're shifting at low RPMs, cruising at town speeds, in eco mode, which is the little green leaf right there, the little green lights on the dash, you are rarely, if ever, using the turbos. Let's say I'm in sixth gear right now, and I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. I'm gonna give it a half throttle, let's see. That's the boost, there's the boost. You're still using minimal boost. That is why the turbo, I believe, lasts as long as it does. You guys also have to remember that this is mostly 85, 90% highway miles. And cruising at highway speed, 65, 70 miles per hour, you're never on boost. That's the reason why the turbo can last as long as it does, because at highway speeds and cruising, you're not on boost. Okay. That's all I got for you guys today. <laughs> Shout out to all the new subscribers. Mm -hmm. Appreciate everybody for liking the video, yes. Leo Legion, loyal commenters and subscribers, you are very much appreciated. Upcoming videos, guys, I have my um, G70 video coming. Oh, how much did I spend on maintenance? You are not going to believe it. Literally, you're not, you're gonna be like, come on, man, but it's okay. Because I had the dealership pull and print out the entire amount of all my services, everything, every little thing, they gave me a printout of that, and I will have it for you guys in one of the upcoming Civic videos. Um, I will talk more about the transmission and the clutch in later videos. Um, yeah, man, I have to figure out what's gonna go on with this uh, with this oil leak that I have, you know? And uh, prayers up to the turbo. Let's hope it lasts. Catch you guys in a later video. Peace.